Civil War. It was inspired by the way people in the southern states honored their dead. After World War One, it was extended to include all men and women who died in any war or military action. A little bit about Five Star Post. Okay, um, they said it's 50 years old. American Legion. You know there, there are still posts that, that are active, like Merrill Post, which is on Beach and Jody's on Forest Avenue. The people from Merrill went with the people from Five Star went with Merrill because a lot of them are aren't here anymore, and and th that's the case. So I just want to mention Phil Adiana, who sponsored me in the, in the Legion 50 years ago, 1973, and John Nappy, who was a past commander of the post, uh, and was a good friend, and whose son is a member of Rolling Thunder. 
I just want to mention those two people. And there are 170 others from 1969 to 2003 that we commemorated right at this spot. And after 2003, things got a little tough because it, it, the, the ranks started thinning out. Okay. That's a little story about Five Star. They were located down here in Bull's Head. This day is sacred with the almost visible presence of those who have gone before us. We honor the memory of those who gave their lives in the service of our country and of those others who have dropped their burdens by the wayside of life and are gone to the eternal rest. May the ceremonies of today deepen your reverence for our dead. Let us renew our pledge of loyalty to our country and our flag. Let us resolve by word and deed to emphasize the privilege and duty of patriotism. Let us pray. Almighty God, giver of all victories, we thank thee for the opportunities which abide in our land, for thy guidance in the hour of peril, and thy tender love in times of need. Help us to remember with reverence the valor and devotion of our departed comrades, not only those whose bodies consecrate our country's soil, but also those who sleep beyond the seas, and those others whose resting places will not be known until the last day when the deep will have given up its dead. O oh God, teach us to honor them by ever cherishing the ideals for which they fought. Keep us steadfast in the cause of human rights and liberty, of law and order, and true Americanism. Give us the power to see and the will to do the right. Grant that the American Legion may preserve the high ideal for which our comrades died. May thy merciful blessing rest upon those who they left behind. Keep us forever firm in righteousness, humble of heart, and unselfish in purpose. presentations today, two-minute presentations. Uh, one of the presentations is going to be uh, from the Boy Scout. And we have uh, <coughs> Scout Christensen here. There he is. Please come forward.
As always, we have our uh, bookmarkers that will be in the back of the truck here, as well as a couple of propel pins, if anybody would like one, as well as flares. You know, the small flares that go on the graves. If anybody would like one after the service, you're free to take one. Just remember that it's supposed to be lit. It's never supposed to touch the ground. I'm not going to read about flag etiquette because we're going to be running out of time. So I'm going to try to keep this keep the service going. All right. And as far as the cards are concerned, I'm not going to read them. We're just going to read one. And a good friend of mine, Paul Kelly, is here, and he's going to read one on uh, Michael Alvis, who died in Afghanistan, whose father is here and is going to be presenting in a moment. I, I just want to mention, though, before we get to Afghanistan, that we have other cards, two of which are from World War I, which is a terrible war, and we don't have the time to get into it. But I can tell you that there's two people here. One was a Jewish fella who's buried right down here. He could walk there, down her cemetery. The one who was awarded the Medal of Honor, as well as a black fella called Sergeant Henry Johnson. They were just awarded the Medal of Honor maybe a, maybe 10 years ago when, when Barack Obama was president. All right? And I, I think that's important for you to know that. So if you want to read why they were awarded the Medal of Honor, it's right here, World War I. World War II, we have Joe Merrill from West Brighton. He's buried in St. Peter's Cemetery, where Father Capadano is, by the way. And um, Joe Merrill was 18 and killed over 25 Germans in World War II by himself and was awarded the Medal of Honor. Desmond Doss from World War II in, in the movie Hacksaw Ridge was a conscious objector. He didn't carry a weapon. One of the bloodiest battles of World War II, Okinawa, 75 men from battle, also Japanese, believe it or not. It's in the movie, but we have his bookmarker here. He just died about, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago. It's a Capadano from Manus Harbor, a priest, Marin old priest. He didn't have to serve in Vietnam, he volunteered. He was a Marin old priest. He should have went to, uh, to uh, China, that's where most of them went. But he wanted to be with his men the day he was killed. He wanted to be with his men on the first wave. And he anointed a, a, a young man in battle who was crying for his mother. And he took over 25 bullets in his back. Father Capadano. Who eventually, or hopefully, will be a saint in the Catholic Church. And finally, we have Staff Sergeant Michael Ellis, who was 24 years old in 2013. And I'm, I'm going to ask Paul, my friend, to come up now and read uh, his testimony.
say a few words. I wonder if Linda would come too up there. She <laughs> also stands in the front of the room. We're almost uh, getting to the end of the program. We're going to call the honor roll call. Uh, before I do, I just want to mention, uh, I got a quote from a lady in Brooklyn. I wanted me to mention Albert Lewis Goldberg, U.S. Army, 80th Division, 315th Field Artillery, Battery B, Fort Ballard Bowl. Ballard Bowl, which is about six months after they stormed Normandy, and he liberated Buchenwald, which is a, a noted concentration camp. All right, five stars who are listed on this monument are Lieutenant Don Cassio, Sergeant Leonard Alexandro, BMC John Licata, Sergeant Nicholas Valentino, and Seaman First List, <coughs> excuse me, Nicholas Licato. The honorary members, one of which is Ernest Halsick, who died in Vietnam. His sister's here and has been coming for years and years. Susan Halsick, please. Ernest Kalsik, Jr., August Romano, Bruce Peter Roy, Michael Batista, Jr., PFC Carl S. Cierno, and Michael Batista, Sr. 30-second silence for our departed comrades. We'll now have the replaying by the members of the Rolling Thunder Group.
I've asked a very good friend of mine, Terry Tarangelo, to lead us in God Bless America. This will conclude the service. We also want to mention thanks to Lena and Rosa. We're going to have refreshments and coffee and I think donuts as well. So, thank you very much. you guys it's all about the, the, the people who died for us that we could do this so uh, I'm very grateful if you want to approach the, uh, the car I have some things if you like to have some flags okay thank you thank you thank you